I want to make a brief video about non-disjunctions. What happens when there are errors during meiosis? Now this could happen during mitosis as well, but it has much greater implications if it happens during meiosis because these would be passed on to offspring. And in fact, this is a major cause of miscarriages or spontaneous abortions in women today. Let's go back to our shoe meiosis analogy and look at what this would look like. So we start off normal. We push everything to the middle. Again, this is metaphase one where homologous pairs are lined up. And all of these microtubules are supposed to be attached, right? So they're supposed to be attached to each of the members of the homologous chromosomes. And if so, they pull apart evenly. What if they don't? What if they pull apart unevenly? What happened here when we divide these up is that we get an extra pair of chromosomes over here. And if we divide this again, then the gametes over here are going to have four chromosomes and here only two. We're supposed to have three. No questions asked. You have to have three and that needs to be fertilized by another cell with three chromosomes. Four is not going to work. You could end up with extra chromosomes and two you're going to be missing some. In almost all cases this would end in a miscarriage. It just doesn't work. So every single cell produced here in this case if it happened during meiosis one would produce a cell with too many errors to be viable. But could this happen in the next phase? Could it happen in anaphase two? So here we are right at metaphase two. We got two cells already, three chromosomes or three shoes in each, and we divide. Now on the right, everything happened normal. On the left, this little guy didn't divide right. Same sort of situation, right? If we divide these up again into our four gametes, here we have four chromosomes, only two, but the ones on the right are okay. So here we have a chance, if it's during meiosis two, to get some normal gametes. Hopefully these guys over here are the ones that fertilize an egg or is the egg that is fertilized. Because if it's the ones on the left, again, that is not going to be viable in most cases. There are a few cases um, where you can get viable offspring. Uh, trisomy 21 or Down syndrome would be one. And if it involves the X or Y chromosomes, there seems to be some extra flexibility. And those people can live a, a long and healthy life. Um, they do have some disorders, but it's still viable. Almost everything else, not. So there's an overview of non-disjunctions and how they happen.